On Saturday, fans of independent music, indie record labels and vinyl congress in Nottingham City Centre to celebrate the art. The campaign, which originated from New York in 2007, has been consistent ever since, taking place in towns and cities from across the globe. With stores such as Rough Trade, The Music Exchange, Pendulum Records and Plates all had events throughout the day, including live bands, DJs and lock-ins past 10, with some stores gathering enthusiasts as early as 7pm the night before in order to get first grabs on limited edition and rare vinyls. We asked local Nottingham DJs why the sudden surge of interest. Why vinyl and why now? Well, uh, I started to, uh, to DJ a while ago, um, a while before I was buying records. And when I did start buying records, uh, it was just buying my favourite music and I just bought a cheap turntable just to listen to them. I didn't really have any intention of like, playing them or anything. And then the obsession just started to, to grow and just ended up starting to spend like, all my money on it. I, I just think it's really special to have uh, your favourite music in a physical form and I was never a massive fan of CDs um, and I think that's what makes uh, the vinyl so special. Hi I'm Mallory, I've been DJing for uh, one and a half years now, I've been doing vinyl for eight or nine months and I play around Nottingham occasionally depending on stuff. There's quite a few contributing factors to that question. I mean, I think one of it is in the digital era, so the early sort of 2000s when vinyl started to sort of dip and digital formats started on the rise. Um, people kind of, when they bought something, they lacked to actually have a physical thing, like you had album cases and CDs and stuff, but it's not like you do with a record collection where you've actually got a huge library of physical versions of those tracks and you don't need to do anything to actually play it. And then I think another contributing factor is obviously the rise of DJ culture over the last few years. And particularly with lots and lots of, there's so many thousands of old tracks which are obviously only released on vinyl, sort of 90s, 80s, 70s. And uh, to, in order to play them, you need turntables and you need other stuff. So there's kind of that whole digging thing of people looking for older formats of stuff. Callum Cunningham, CBJ News.